today on The Chew. We're touching down in Florida for the one sandwich that's good any time of the year. By far the best Cuban I've ever had. And it all starts right now on The Chew. Up next, we're heading south to sample the best Cuban sandwich in the entire country. Stick around. You know one thing that never goes out of season? A delicious sandwich. Mm -hmm. So we sent two correspondent, Jason Roberts, to Florida's oldest restaurant, the Columbia, to find out why their Cuban sandwich is the best in the country. Check this out. Nothing brings people together like food. Cheers! And at the Columbia restaurant in Tampa, Florida, one sandwich has been uniting an entire community for over 100 years. The Tampa Cuban. And today, we get to discover its delicious history. And if we're lucky, learn how to make it. Early 1900s, my great-great-grandfather, Casimir Hernandez Sr., came to Tampa and specifically came to Ybor City, where so many immigrants were coming. Opened up a saloon, which was called the Columbia Cafe, where he served Cuban sandwiches and Cuban coffee. Over 100 years, we grew from one small corner cafe to being a whole city block. What brings people back again and again is probably the Cuban sandwich because it represents Ybor City and the Tampa community so well. You have your ham, which represents the Spanish that came, the pork, which represents the Cubans, the salami, which represents the Italians, and then the pickles and the mustards that represent the Germans. So now, would you like to go back to the kitchen to learn how to make it? Please, support you never ask. Let's go. Here. This is like a pork shoulder. Pork shoulder, exactly. And we're going to marinate it with the classic mojo marinade. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of garlic in here. And that's what really gives it that wonderful kick. You're going to want to top it with some sour orange. You must let this sit for a little bit of time as well. We like to say at least overnight. We also do our own ham, which we score and then we top with cinnamon and sugar and a little bit of Colombian seasoning. Well, now that we're done with both of our pieces of pork, we're going to want to put them in the oven, bake them, so that way we can get to our sandwich. So we have our bread, slice it in half, then we're going to start with our delicious ham that we coated with the sugar. We want to move on to our pork that we marinated with the garlic and the oregano. So after we've done the pork, we're going to do our salami. One layer of Swiss cheese, mustard, two pickles, and then the most important part that's going to make our bread extra crispy is butter. <laughs> We're going to put it in the press, which is going to meld all the flavors together. Cheers, ladies first. Cheers. <laughs> mm. This is by far the best Cuban I've ever had. I think it's wonderful that the community has maintained this beautiful historic setting and serves such wonderful food. I can definitely understand why this is the sandwich of Tampa.